Well, today we are here at the shop and I have actually been working all morning organizing stuff. <laughs> and the thought just occurred to me, I should be filming this. We should be going through this stuff together and organizing it together. And so I decided I'm going to bring you along as I organize and go through some of the stuff that just kind of got buried over time because I'm finding stuff and I'm like, I forgot I had that. So that's what we're going to do today. We're just gonna kind of putz around the shop. Maybe go over to Carlisle Antique Mall. I don't know, but we're gonna just take it easy today and do some stuff around here. And this is why we call it Banana Box Antiques. <laughs> now I know it doesn't look like much, but we had a bunch of boxes piled right here and I did go through those boxes and I piled them over there. I moved them, see? I'm making progress. Those are Eric boxes. Those are boxes that are probably going to end up at the flea market. They are items that just are not worth selling on eBay. So they're over there. They're intended for the flea market. Someone else might look at that item and say, I can sell that on eBay for $10. And that's perfectly fine with me. So those are going to go with Eric. Um, I've started another Eric box right here. And um, I've actually started working back behind this table because I would like to do a haul off of this table. I want to pull everything out of the box for my next haul and have it spread out on this table. So that way I'm not fumbling through paper, especially because we have quite a few expensive pieces in the next haul. And I want to have it all spread out and I don't want to be digging through one handed. So um, part of the reason this got filled up so fast is because we did a house clean out and there were a lot of big furniture pieces. And they kind of just messed everything up. So over here we've got some stuff from that house clean out. You guys saw us digging through the dumpster of that house clean out. But um, I'm going through these baby dolls. And that's when the thought occurred to me that, hey, I should bring you guys along for this. <laughs> these were up in the attic and they were sealed in this plastic bag. So they were actually protected because the attic was, was um, interesting. But these were all protected and sealed, and it looks like they've got a mark on the back of the head. I didn't actually get a good close look at them when I pulled them out because they were in the back. It looks like it says Lee Middleton something something USA. That's the best you're going to get out of me. This one looks like it belongs with a bottle. This one looks like it's pooping. Maybe. Or maybe it's just about to cry. Because it has to poop. Because it has to poop. You know, I, I do have two children. <laughs> this one also is a Middleton doll. They're very heavy. They're very weighted, but there's like, I don't know. I always say it's kitty litter, but I know that's not kitty litter in there. That's what it feels like. Got all of these Afghans in here. This one is pretty. I like this one. So, I'll work through all of those. But in this box, it appears, are all of the baby clothes. I don't know if these are doll clothes. No, I think these are people clothes. Look at the embroidery on that. That's so cute. Oh, that's adorable. I love that. I think that's so cute. Oh, you guys can't even see it. Ha! There you go. Gotta look where I'm pointing the camera. That's too cute. I'm not actually sure where this came from. Actually, I don't think this was the house clean out. I think that this was um, the house in Delaware, possibly. I'm not sure. There's some other pieces in here. That looks nice and toasty warm. Little shoes <laughs> with bells on them. Stuff in here. Look, there's more boxes in there. Over here is actually the depression glass that we never really got to. You know, we started selling off the depression glass and it just was not performing very well on eBay. I'm not an expert in pink, green, yellow, blue depression glass. Um, I'm not even really an expert in depression glass in general. I just love carnival glass. That's kind of my weakness. So, I'm not really sure what we're going to do with this. Andrew suggested maybe we send it to auction. And 
see what happens. Like an actual auction. And that might be the option, but you can see there's some yellow down there. I'm just not sure. It's a lot of depression glass. I think that might be another box of it over there. We have some clock plates over here. They're reverse painted. And I showed these in a haul video back when I was doing hauls in the front window. They are for clocks. These are for clocks, right, Andrew? What? These clock plates. Ooh, that's... Oh, yeah, those, yeah, those are uh, reverse painted. They're for, like, yeah, old clocks. Old clocks. Unfortunately, this one's got the tissue paper stuck to the back of it. There are some really nice Art deco ones. In there. I'm not going to try to pull it off. That is, yeah, I was just showing the Art Deco one. So we'll have to get those listed up. Um, I guess they're all different sizes, so the size is important in those. We gotta get that cabinet out of here. We've gotta get that cabinet out of here. <laughs> I mean, I feel like it could be repurposed as a china cabinet. Let's put some Viking swung glass vases in there. I mean, it was $2,000. $2,000. <laughs> no reason to waste it. We'll use it. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today. I guess if I come across anything interesting, I'll let you guys know. Like that. Look at that. Or that giant scale thing. What are we doing with the giant scale thing? Oh, uh, that's a good van. We have a van today. What you doing? Going through some books. Pex Sunbeams. By the author of Pex Bad Boy. Mmm. Mm. That looks like a good read. Oh, and look right here. Pex Bad Boy and his paw. Mm. <laughs> Ooh. And compendium of fun. Profusely illustrated. I don't know. I'm all about Tom Swift and his great oil gusher. <laughs> mm. Here, in this box, this is actually some uh, some more of the... Oh, look. There are my Murano birds. I was all like, oh, look at the swans. But look at the Murano birds underneath the swans. Hey, Dina, this has got your last name on it. Yes. I'm all kinds of that. Rebecca, <laughs> Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm by Kate Douglas Wigan. Wigan. I know. It's close no, enough. no. It's not me. No relation. Look at these birds. Oh, I love them. That's why I wanted them. I'm going to go give these to Dina. Dina! <laughs> Got birds for you. Ooh, Look at that. yeah, you do. Pretty? I love the gold. They're very pretty. Hmm. I also happen to have this little guy right here, and he glows in black light. I know because I was testing him the other we day. We played with him yesterday. Oh, did you play with him? We I was play. playing with him the other day too. He glows a lot. Do you have the black light? I do. Oh, there we go. Oh, look. Look how bright that is. That's He's insane. So bright. He like glows. Like glows, glows. Not yeah, just he's like, really cool. like he is a beacon. <laughs> I love. So this right here, I was really curious about this, and it looked to be very detailed in the photos. And sure enough, it is. I'm pretty obsessed with it. Uh, it is marked Japan on the bottom. Surprisingly enough, I was not expecting that, but I absolutely love this thing. I think that's great. We've got a few quails in here. They are Japan. This little quail is super cute. It looks like the little one we had hanging outside our house, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Andrew looked out the window one morning when we were having coffee. There's a little baby quail outside. A little duckling. This, I'm super shocked that this does not have any damage on it little glass bird 
little baby bird. The cardinal was an extra. Hmm, we just got some packing stuff there. I think the bird is great. All right, that's it for that box. Let us continue. And let's not neglect this flat of things. I'm very shocked that these survived the journey. But we have some art glass schwans. This was really neat. This little bird in a cage. Surprisingly unharmed. Oh, wait, wait. Looks like there is a crack there. Oops. A little itty bitty one, but still in pretty good shape. It's, it's not, it doesn't even go all the way through. We've got a little swan family. Are they all in good condition? One left, let's see. Yes, perfect. This little swan, this little bird has me a little bit stumped. I think it was a decorative piece, but it is made of pottery. And this, I thought that this was Royal Copenhagen. Oh look, it's it's got a boo-boo. It looks like it's got a repair there, which is kind of a bummer. Ooh, here's another one. Here we go. Anyway, we'll get these these swans listed. Wow, look at that. I can't believe these things survived. Especially the necks. Look how fragile these necks are. If I keep digging in here, I'm gonna break some necks. I'm done. I'm done digging. Find any of these online. You found some poetry by Tennyson? Yeah, it's Tennyson Forget Me Nots. Does it actually have poetry mini... in it? Oh yeah, it's Oh. Full of full of his poems. That's great. Yeah. So they had this little piece in there it says rare antique Alfred Tennyson poetic forget me nots miniature book 1800s hardback it doesn't have like a title page or anything in it so there's no copyright date on it um, so it could be an early one that's fantastic but I gotta I gotta do a little more research on this one that's pretty cool that was in here yeah mm. that might be better than the bad boy book I'm sure this is probably the best piece out of the whole box the smallest and the best yeah <laughs> all right well over here we have discovered things that we have forgotten so i am going to set this here and i'm gonna fill this box with stuffs um i did find these this glows under black light unfortunately it does have a little bit of a chip here and that's why it's sat here for as long as it has but i feel like someone who collects uh, this glowy glass and has it under black light is not going to really mind a little chip there and we start all our auctions at four dollars so that's something that somebody might be willing to pay four dollars for this treasure craft right here i actually have to find the little piece that goes into it but now that we have all of those pieces those whitco pieces of furniture this is probably going to go over to the booth to complement all of the Whitco pieces, which is kind of a tiki theme. This hair receiver, it's got a bird on the inside. <laughs> it is a little hair receiver, so I'm going to pack that away in the boxes. I was looking over here, we've got this cockatoo. He would have been hanging on like a swing. Unfortunately, we don't have the swing, but he is made in Mexico. So we will also put him in the box. I've got the tail to an Ali Brejo. Ali Brejo? I don't know. We've got some paint by numbers. Those are great. This is a handmade Phoenician style blown glass little vase. Christmas stuff. We've got Christmas. This can go on our Christmas. We've actually got Christmas stuff stored away. Little mug here. It's got birds on it. Something university, but look at those birds. They're beautiful. And 
sounds the bass to an oil lamp. It's a beautiful, vibrant color. Looks pretty in the window. So, oh, look, more treasure craft. Ha ha. Look at that. I've been stashing all my treasure craft. Saving it for a rainy day. Ta-da. Now we've got two pieces. I have discovered a whole box of Christmas. Yes. These are actually holly. Uh, we got these when we were in Delaware. I actually got this one for the kids. I was like, oh, that's cute. The kids would love that. And Andrew got this. Little mugs, I believe. They're all Native American themed. There's a buffalo there. Um, we've got a punch bowl. So these pieces right here we're probably going to set aside. Um, I know a lot of people list Christmas all year round. Sometimes, occasionally I'll make an exception, but I like to hold on to Christmas and start listing it in October. Early October is usually when we start listing Christmas. Um, that's just a personal preference. There's no reason why, why, you know, you can't list it all year round. We just find that we get better prices for stuff, especially doing auctions when we list it um, closer to Christmas. So I gotta go put all this with the Christmas stuff. So I did discover this. I'm actually gonna pull those out first. <laughs> it's not all going into Christmas. We've got depression glass here. This is all depression glass. The green stuff is in there. I got this because we need a new one. And I actually have my grandmother's uh, star, this, this exact same punched colander. And uh, ours is a little bit worse for wear, so I've got another one now. I bought these for Michael, the Colts of Vintage, for his Christmas wreaths. I've got to set those over here. I remember to give those to Michael the next time I see him. This looks like more stuff. This obviously is a Goodwill candle. <laughs> You can tell like this was prior to the clean out and then everything came in from the clean out and just like created a barrier. A barrier to all of the stuff. Anyway, I'm going to set this in here because that can be listed. Like I said earlier, we've got to figure out a solution for this depression glass. More Christmas. Oh, these books. I forgot about these books. Um, a, the set of these books, my first tr steps to reading on um, the entire alphabet, I've seen them sell for about $50 to $75 for the entire set. I was thinking of listing them on eBay, but, you know, I'm actually considering donating them uh, to a school. Maybe Juliet's kindergarten class. I really liked her kindergarten teacher, so that might be something I do. I'm not, I'm not positive about that yet, but... I'm going to think about it. I've got little critters here. Oh, look at the... Look at the critters. Although it looks like I've already... I've already gotten into this little bag of critters, so it's possible that I pulled out the ones that I liked the most. Although there's a little Lefton Cardinal in there. I can't... Look at this little guy. <laughs> this little piggy. There's some cute ones in there. Unfortunately, that little bunny lost his ears. Is that Boyd's? Hugsy. Handmade in China. And I think there was maybe one or two figurines in there that I wanted. And then those were the leftovers. Here is the turntable that we pulled out of the dumpster. I put about this back here that out of the attic it's got some water damage but that was just so cool I couldn't let that just get thrown away all right set that here figure out what to do with it we have made progress and I found this box you may remember this box there are a lot of people asking about these and when they would be listed and um I'm going to go hand them off to Dina. So eventually they will get listed. She's got a lot of stuff over there though. I've been like literally 
getting buried. <laughs> I'm like, here, you can have, you can have this. You can, what? Wait, here's another thing. And I'm sure I'll get this all listed by the end of the day today. Oh yeah, she she just she can list like a hundred things a day. She is really oh, good gosh. at it. That actually matches oh, a pepper mill that we have listed oh, right God. now. I'm telling everyone that Dina lists a hundred things a day. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> this is a hundred and fifty dollars originally. What? It is a sterling inlay right there, so um, I'm not really sure. It is Danish modern. I can't remember. I can't remember what this is. I just know that it came with a peppermint. Some interesting people. This Easter egg needs to get listed before Easter. <laughs> there you go. Glad I uncovered this guy. What did you find? This is from two weeks ago. Mmm. Let's save these little guys. Your phone is oh, he's vinyl. Oh, he's cool. Yeah, he was the one that was in the best shape. Hello. He's really neat. Brutus. Oh, Amy from the dealer service center. Oh, Amy. Amy, I don't need Your you. Your warranty. Give me that. That's fine. I, I was like, why is this one? Oh, look at the little troll. troll. Ball. This is really neat. It's damaged, but I couldn't leave it. Ah, uh, yeah. That's really it good. super glows. It like it. It just oh. They sell for crazy money. I uh, looked up the comps on them. I oh mean, I gosh. feel like I feel like somebody's still gonna want it. It's such a unique piece. I mean, it's a you desirable it piece. Well, and that. it, that's in the back. Yeah. Yeah, because it's the back foot that's. Yeah, it's, it does sit. It does. Or sit you can right. sit up there. Oh wait, I shouldn't show that. <laughs> <laughs> Watch where I put things. And then I got some other books and stuff, but this is pretty. Yeah. And character glasses have been selling like crazy over in the booth. Oh. So the box cost me 15 I mm -hmm. get five a piece for the glasses. Cool. And they're all in really good That's shape. That's adorable. What characters are they? Yeah, he's missing his eyes, but I couldn't leave him. He was in too good a shape otherwise. Yeah, you don't usually find oh, him. Oh, put him with guy. the misfit. Put him with the derpy toys. Yeah. <laughs> Derpy? Yes. Yeah. Derpy's gonna start a zoo. I'm gonna start a, a derpy zoo. A derpy zoo? Yes, for derpy animals. Because like what him. did we say went with him? Bezik. Yeah, so <laughs> the box I had I had the stack of boxes sitting right outside the van. Yeah. With the lids on. Yeah. And stacked up with the lids on. And some lady comes along and she's pulling all the Beatrix Potter stuff out of the box. Oh no. And she goes and asks for a price, and Eric's like, uh, no, that's already sold. And she's like, oh, what was in a box? Yeah, and the lid was on the box. Why did you go in the box? Oh, no. <gasps> so. Well, you know me. I always just reach in. I don't even, like, register the lid. I'm just like, oh, look. But we got them all back. <laughs> Some of these can be worth quite a bit of money. These glasses are great. A set of these in there. Yeah. Pink and black. Very nice. So these are Eric boxes. That yeah, I'll this is stuff. I'll probably do a haul on this, a live haul. These steins are going to go over to the booth. This these are, um, cafe scene is uh, Jir. Well, at least he made, Curtis Jir made a cafe, cafe scene. Curtis Jir is, is actually two designers that combined to create C Jeer. This is not one of his. Santa fell just... through the ice. Oh, poor Santa. You set that back there. And I got some uh, New Weiler um, Harrisburg Steins. So they're mm -hmm. going to go to the booth because they're local. These are really cool. These are 16 millimeter films. Crazy Cat. Oh, neat. This one is, um, oh, what year was on this one? This was like 19... 13? One of these was stupid early. They kind of look like Felix. They kind of do, yeah. 16 millimeter crazy cat for toy projectors. That's really neat. One of these had a date on it and it was an early one. Crazy cat. Yeah, 1913. Wow. Those are neat. I love the graphics. Yeah. And they were in really good shape, too. So. 
I got those. And then these old games, these are early games too. Rook. Oh, look at the bird. Yeah, and then Pit. Very cool. 1919. I remember playing Pit at my grandparents. And or at least the adults one's... playing Pit and then trying to explain it to me because I think it's kind of complicated. The game of games. This one's 1931. Very neat. Very neat. Andrew actually purchased this the other day at an auction. And it is a Japanese doll with six wigs. Very fancy wigs. And that was really cool. Juliet wanted to play with it. And she did for a moment, but... It's like, no, that's probably not a good idea to play with that, but that's really cool. So I think I'm going to send that with bag needles. And also this is a Kokeshi scroll doll. And I will send that as well. And there's just some fun keychains and whatnot, and I'll just I'll let Juliet have those. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.